What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome to Merch of the Six Kingdom. And you're probably thinking, Chevy, we just did this. <laughs> However, we've got ourselves full access to the game now. Corey, the developer, was kind enough. He messaged us on the side and said he loved our kind of like first look and review of the game. If you want to see it, check it out at the end of this video. But we talk about the demo, what's available in the demo, and how to barter. Now, we're going to play the damn game. And we're going to kill it because I love bartering. I love merchant games. I love economy. When I play games, I only care about money or killing, but mostly money. The killing is good, too. You can sometimes make money from killing. So, you know, they go hand in hand. However, like when we play MMOs, like Mr. Twigs and I, we're all about the trade. We are bartering. We are running the show all the time. So this is a game for us. Now, let's see. The name's Shabby Doo. I want to become a great king. <laughs> Who are you? Can you teach Aye. me to become a merchant? Can you cut me a deal? I'm no teacher, but a merchant will give you anything for the right price. Give me a statue and I'll teach you. I said this last. I'm going to say this again. If you give him the statue, uninstall the game. This game's not for you. It's okay. Games are not meant for everybody. If you take the first deal anyone always offers you, I'm sorry. You're not a merchant. You are, you know just the farmer who just got swindled by me all right uh no uh, you're already learning uh, for the gloves no thank you all right how about an onion no i'm not uh, interested i already know how to play good boy. eat shit you're not taking my onion for free okay next customer weigh the coin so you can see here if we go to the journal there are quests in the game which is awesome i need to turn the volume down a smidge There we go. Much better. So there are quests in the game. Look at all these places that are undiscovered and also mystery undiscovered. There are maps in this game, which allow you to find more areas. You have to buy them. And there are quests. So learn from Edward. Oh, I guess I didn't finish that quest. Maybe I have to go talk to him. I'm sorry. Edward. Hello. Who are you? Edward, Boone Merchant Guild. What do you need? Do you have any coins? Can you teach me? <laughs> I knew you'd come running back. All right, let's do this. What do I need to know? Aha, look, I got it for free. People only approach merchants when they need something. Ask them what they are selling or buying. What are you buying? I... He wants my coin. All right, Mr. Krabs, give you me coin. Merchants always interested in coin, okay? Remember, flavor text in this game is king. This is a merchant simulator, AKA you are now a role player. You need to listen to what the people tell you and you have to commit it to memory, okay? Because we're merchants, okay? Get, get that abacus out and remember who you can fleece. Merchants are always interested in coin. <coughs> that means they want our coin, okay? And that also means, introversely, they do not want to give us their coin. Therefore, if I try and take coin from them, I'm going to get a bad deal. Whereas if I try and give them coins for items, I'm going to get better deals, okay? Merchants are always interested in coin. I'd say a few loaves of bread's a fair price for the copper coin. You can accept or haggle for more. All right, I want to let you know right now, brothers, sisters, merchanteers of the future, if you accept this deal, I'm so sorry. No, maybe start over. Go watch a Shabby Doo video or two. You're not a trader yet. We're going to get there. You made it past the snail statue, but this is task number two, okay? Never accept the deals that you're given. That's their like, maybe I can fleece this schmuck, okay? So he's telling me, he'll give me four loaves for my one copper. I'm like, well, you know, it's probably rather accurate. What if I said seven? Right? What if I said seven loaves? No. Not an awful offer, but not the kind of offer a merchant would accept. No. He'll keep no. saying that because this is a tutorial, no. by the way. So let's, let's knock it down to six. Jeez. This is a hard deal, but a fair one for us both. Remember, the customer should never leave too happy. So you want to try and manage those margins, okay? How can I negotiate a better deal? You can give a final offer to haggle a better deal, but it fails, the customers will walk. You should conceal that amulet. Magical items are valuable, but don't let the guards find you selling it. And these sacks will help you carry your things. Oh yeah, he does give you sacks. Okay, thank you. This map will help you find your way around the region. Look for new maps to discover new markets. We were just talking about that. Die. What do I do now? Start by bartering for food. Everybody needs to eat. Find a farmer and buy as much as you can. Thanks for the advice. Care to barter? Hello. All right. What do you give me for one coin? Aye. You would give me eight rye stocks. Ah. Okay. So here's one thing to be mindful of. 
you can continually like remove the item and see what they'll offer and you can see maybe if they'll fluctuate try different items however you can see here now it says gift because he says he has no offer don't blindly click because you might give away your money so okay he's not gonna just give this to me so I need to think of another deal now I know the loaves of bread were worth roughly that so if I just say hey how about one copper for seven uh. can you meet me halfway final offer agreed so last time he accepted for six automatically for seven I had to drive a final offer remember it's not always a guarantee to work okay however it worked that time and I got it so he didn't walk away from me what are you buying cut you a deal ask for an offer you're not interested in such a deal then why'd you ask me for it get out of here bye ask for an offer so he'd be willing to give me 20 lettuce nine rye and some lentils I have no idea what that's really worth however I do know one thing because I played the demo the statues are loved by a local noble so I'm gonna wait to find him to sell him that all right so the night's over the day does progress even when you do nothing the day is always moving so keep busy return to the stall we'll pack up for the day game saves at the end of the day mind you so if you make a bad deal alt f4 all right and we can see here these are too far this is you know this is the proof in the pudding baby we we have access we've got the full game baby i thank you Corey, for the developer again for sending this our way i'm very excited about this game it has a lot of good to it i think it's a little hard for your casual player so i'm hoping to see maybe a ledger put in but i'm not going to harp on that in this one we talked about a, that a lot in the last first kind of review so we're not going to keep doing that so let's begin monday we're not going to leave i don't have the money to leave here next customer hello so it's just edward again i don't want to deal with you goodbye next customer hello. stranger shows up who are you he's john the farmer here in boone okay what do you uh. need could use some gloves and boots. When's uh, the best time to buy food? The season of harvest, of course. Everything from fruits, veggies, to fish is cheaper during the harvest. And right now, it's the first Monday in the season of seed. So wh what do you want? So he wants the gloves. What would you give me? He'd give me all this food. An onion. Is that a queen bee? Okay. An onion, a daikon. Oh, no, that's a parsnip. Oats, breadfruit. Interesting. Tuna and cucumber. seedling tree i i'm seeing new items in here as well like i never saw these seedling trees before i didn't see a rare ash or jelly or a giant mite so it looks like i've got some new items in this version of the game as well which is super exciting a gray horse thought that said a gay horse at first i was gonna laugh a little bit um i don't i think this is a good trade i just need to figure out what else i can get out of them like and the hard part is we're so early i don't know what's good let me think here. All right, I don't know if this is gonna be a worthwhile deal. I want these sacks and these small sacks because that'll increase my size. The deal he was giving me previously left me, oh shit, I'm overweight. Ooh, these breadfruit must weigh a lot, huh? Oh, they weigh two a piece, huh? I don't think I can really go for the breadfruit. What if I took all the oats? Oh man, this is hard. Okay, let me try for this. And a copper coin. Just to th just just because. Because I don't think copper coins have weight to them. So let's just hit offer. I hope you're not serious. Okay, so we know this is too much. So why don't I get rid of the oats? Don't make me laugh. Let me get rid of the copper coin. Not a chance. Now remember, if your offer is too ridiculous, they can just walk away from you as well. Too high? No. That's not enough. Sweeten the pot and we'll have a deal. I'm just gonna hit final offer. Deal. All right, so we got some more carry capacity now. Not weight, however, but we got carry capacity. Now, if I wanted your copper coin, what would you mm -hmm. want for that? You're not interested? What if I gave you like a single loaf uh -uh. of bread? Who would take that deal? How about two loaves of bread? Uh -uh. I bought seven for a copper, so uh -uh. how about three? I'm gonna say final Goodbye. offer. Okay, he walked away, that's fine. Hello. A stranger, who are you? Zalia, just a wanderer in search of things that are fantastical. You seeking magic items? I won't say yes, but if you have something to show me, I'll keep it a secret. And she likes amulets. So why don't we show her our amulet, ask for an offer. She would give me four silver. So one of the most interesting things in this game is 
gold, silver, and copper don't necessarily hold intrinsic value to exchange rates. So for instance, seven copper coins might roughly equate to a silver for one person, but maybe the merchant likes copper and he would rather, and he would only give you five copper coins for a silver, okay? So like, it's not, there's not an exact ratio. It's not science. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, what if I got seven or six silver and six copper? Far too much. I'm gonna hit down to five. You can't do that. Let's drop that to four. Two. No. No. How about, could you add a little bit more? Okay, what if I took away that and then added six in here? Well, I'm not sure. I'm gonna hit final offer. Goodbye. I'm wasting your time. Damn, I bet it was close. I bet that was still a pretty decent offer. Who are you? Joseph the miner, what do you need? Gloves, lanterns, shovels, picks, anything useful in the mines? Uh, where can I travel for cheap gems? West of Nottingham Hill is a city called Kazujan. I heard rare gems are as common as granite rocks. Interesting, okay, so he would like all that bread. What do you want for that? Okay, he'd give me a boulder and some sandstone. However, if I wanted all your cash, what would you give me? Or what would you want for that? That's a lot. Now, so obviously he's not just gonna give me all that. So I'm gonna hit, Bye. never mind. What if I just wanted all your copper? Not interested, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please. No. What about for 15 copper? He would give, he would do all of that for 15. So what if I did this and removed the onions? Offer. No. You don't think that's a bit much? No. Three onions. Maybe final offer. Took it. Awesome. So we got his, we fleeced his copper. Perfect. What? It, I don't really have anything for miners in here. A wooden bowl is just kind of whatever. Um, there is a blacksmith who likes ores. So what if I got like 10 ores? Ask for a price. Uh. Not interested, I probably can't afford it. How about five? Mm -hmm. If I gave him 17 onions and a map, he'd do it? How about for eight, I'll try that. No. Sorry, can't, how about seven? No. Final <sighs> offer, he took it. So remember, it may, the, the dialogue is good, but you gotta read into them a bit further than that, okay? I'd say read facial expressions, but the art is, although fantastic, their faces don't change a lot. So sometimes you just got to take a swing at the fences and make a good deal. That's what being a merchant's all about. All right. Goodbye to you. I'm going to pack up for the day. We are just going to sleep. And you can skip days too. I don't think there's any bet negative to it because it's not like there's a daily tax, at least not yet that I've seen. Hello. Edward, the merchant's here. What would you give me for 16 copper? What? He would give me 23 flounder plus some parsnips. That's a lot. So what would you give me for two copper? Hey. I'm trying to figure out... What? So his parsnips. So he's saying those 16 parsnips to him is worth roughly two copper. However, those 20 some odd flounders were worth another 15. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to say, what if I gave you just one for like 12 of them? No. How about for 10? No. Okay, how, how about I go back to two, take your 20 parsnips. <laughs> Almost enough final offer. Cool. So we got 20 parsnips for, for two schmeckles there. What else has he got in here? He's got a condom. That's a water moccasin, okay. Looks like we've got a rare map of war to unlock a new market here. Too, too expensive for us. Let me ask you, if I said I'd take five of those. Uh, Not interested, how about six? I so he's saying roughly six is worth four copper. Wow. What if I what if I went for like two copper for five? Ah. A little lower? No. Good boy. Goodbye. See you later, dickhead. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Uh, would you like Would you like to try to buy this again? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go straight for five one. No. How about just five? No. Okay. How about five and five? Four and five. Mm -hmm. A little bit more? No. Deal. Got it. Suck it, nerd. All right. We got four silver and a couple extra schmeckles out of that. Doing great so far. There's also an alchemist in this area that we can talk to. The nine elements. That looks like a good read. Books are generally expensive. What are you selling? A morning glory. 
If you have no offer for me, then don't tell me you're selling it. Huh? So she would do a morning glory for two parsnips? How about just one? How about three parsnips? Final offer. <laughs> she took it. Remember, she offered me four, okay? That means she would take it right away. However, if, if I knock it down by one, she's she's still likely to get it. What if I want like five silver from you? How about six silver? She would want like everything of mine. Okay, so it looks like I don't really have anything she's interested in. Those are meatballs from the Redlands Empire and some fish. I gave her the parsnips. That's a death knight? Monster parts? What is this worth? Huh? That's really expensive. What if I just didn't throw the chicken in? Ah, deal. Okay, I guess that chicken's not worth as much as I thought it was. She seems a little happy with that deal. I think I got fleeced. But I got a death knight now, so that's cool. How about a feta cheese? Huh? No, just, just your morning glory. I'll give you your Ugh. morning glory back. So what, what's a chicken worth to you? Huh? A myth card, which is a trading card game in this game, which is actually pretty fun, not gonna lie. I'm gonna say goodbye to you. <laughs> Good next customer. The blacksmith, who are you? George. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Is always in need of ore. We've got some ore for him. Mm -hmm. Best place, anywhere with mountains, air, Kazajan, Ingress, Rock, even Kai. All right, what do you, hold on, let me do this. Uh, what are you buying? Okay. He wants three, okay. and he'd give me a three skull arrows and two cross helmets. I don't know what those are worth though yet. Huh? Uh. Huh? Three, three. Ooh, he'd also give me some small crates, huh? That horse wagon is looking real nice. However, I don't think the price is quite the same. Ah, jeez. I don't know what this works out to being. You know what I mean? I need stuff to tow with, so this isn't going to work that well for me. Uh. You have nothing for me? What if I wanted like this? Okay, so for three silver, two copper, he's willing to buy five. What What if I did one? Make sure I get rid of that. Ask for an offer. Okay, two. Damn. If I ask for a silver. Okay, so he's roughly equating one silver for two. So this, he would definitely give me three silver. Let me do like three silver, two plus um, these skull arrows. Deal. He accepted, okay. Probably could have got a little more, cause, but I'm not. He didn't have any other coppers, so I didn't know what else to kind of take him for here. I'm going to say that's enough from him. Do I want to buy anything from you? He has some feta cheese. Okay. Four... I don't know what those are worth, but I, I'll say like seven. Uh, Not a chance. Eight. Uh, Ten. Uh, wow, feta cheese is worth something good here. Uh, uh, Final goodbye. offer. He doesn't have time for this. Hello. Who are you? Uh, Astro Astrilda, the traveling merchant. Uh, what do you need? Packs and sacks. What if I gave you... Okay, hold on. Uh, Buying. She wants that death knight uh, for a, a retort. I don't know what that is. Four copper for that. So she's roughly saying four copper for my death knight. Don't think that's a great deal. What if I want like 19 copper from you? Mm -hmm. She take four silver. So that means she's saying like roughly six. What if I did like 22 copper? Deal. She took that, huh? Got like seven copper a piece. That's about average from what I've seen. That's not bad. Ooh, she has, ho ooh, an ox. How much do you want for this? Huh? 327 and a death knight? It's a lot. No. Sorry, too much. Okay, I'll put the death knight back uh. in. Final Deal. offer. Okay, we got an ox. Okay, that's perfect. So we've got some extra weight. We've got some decent size available. What about this chest? Are you willing to... Uh. I can't afford that. All right, you don't have to be so freaking rude uh. about it. Can't think of an offer, probably because I can't afford it, really. 15 for two. Not a great deal for me. Um, are you interested in these? Huh? She'd give me milk. I think I'm okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was a good day for us. We got an ox out of that next day. A 
New customer, the merchant. Um, I do have coin. He'd give me eight flounder for five coin. So what if I did a ten flounder for five coin? So this could be roughly 15 coins. So what if I did like 12? No. Eight. A little lower. No, Good 13. Boy. He didn't take the deal. That's okay. I wasn't, I'm not too interested in the merchants right now. She'd give me two mortar and pedestal pestles. About two for one. Uh, no, deal. final offer. Deal. Okay, cool. If I gave you mm -hmm. three copper, she'd give me eight buns and four coburns. How about the six coburns? Can we throw in a thing of wool? Uh, okay, I'll drop the wool. No. Goodbye. Final offer. Goodbye. The miner. I don't really have anything for the miner. We'll just goodbye. say goodbye to him. Goodbye. New customer, new stranger. <gasps> William Rocky, nobleman of Boone. How, what do you need? I need a new statue. How do you become a nobleman? Pretty simple, actually. Own land. Nice. I'm a noble. All right. Ask for an offer. 15 schmeckles. What if I just brought that to like 22? Uh, Afraid that's too much. How about 20? No. 19. Mm. What if I said like three silver? Uh. What if I said two silver, six? Ugh. Four. No. Three. No. One. Final yeah. offer. Yes. All right, cool. I feel like that was a good deal. What else are you interested in? Mm. He's not interested mm. in really anything. What about if these skull arrows? You, yeah, you're not interested in that. Chicken? Huh? You'd give me three for that? It's probably a good deal. Nobles are loose with their cash. I'll say five. Uh, no. Goodbye. All right, it's fine. I didn't really have anything else really meant for him anyways. But who are you? Colin, ex-thief. You changed your ways. What do you need? Anything to drink? A few too many close calls. Now you're too old to be running for your life. Would you like some skull arrows? You'd give me two rib roasts. How about four? No. All right, I'll do four of them for three rib roasts. All right, I'll do four of them for five. No. Ooh, what has he got? A scepter of steel? I can't afford that. These magic items are pretty expensive. No, 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 no. All right, what does he have? What does he have? What about this? What if I wanted all this from him? Okay, for for five silver, nine copper, he'd take two silver, 19 copper, plus all those. It doesn't sound like a deal at all. What if I want your nine copper? Two silver? You're asking for trouble. Okay, he. I have nothing for him. Hello. The new stranger, Adam, soldier of Nottingham. For Notting. We need swords for the new soldiers, any kind. How mm. goes the war? Not interested? Okay. okay. He likes the rib roast. Okay. What would you give me? You'd give me five copper for a rib roast? I guess those skull bones were act skull arrows are worth a fair bit. Or at least or I made a really good trade. So let's say if he was gonna give me six. Um no nope. deal. Okay, so what if I said a silver for this? Uh, I'm not offering enough. Okay, what if I said two silver? No. Okay, so if I want, if you wanted this, huh? you'd give me one silver. Huh? You'd give me white eggs and portobellos. Okay, so what if I throw a silver in, the eggs, portobellos, and a copper? Uh, Final offer. Good deal. I think I made out well. Anything uh, else you're interested in? You're interested in the mortar and pestle? Yeah. You have nothing for me. Okay. Well, that's useless. How about a dragon mask helmet? Interesting. Hops, peanuts, mushrooms. How about these boots? Huh? Holy shit. It's fleecing me. What if I give you like nine copper? Ugh. Ten copper. Ugh. Eleven. Yeah. Final line. See you later. Get out of here. New stranger. Ooh. Mary Baker, a boon. What do you need? Cinnamon, uh -huh. nutmeg, nice town. Mm -hmm. What are you buying? You want those eggs, eh? Huh? Oh, wow. You'd give me a ton of buns and muffins. Well, give me your last muffin and three more buns. Ooh. Final yeah. offer. Okay, cool. That was a good deal for us. Eh? She likes the mortar eh. and you don't have an offer for me. What if I wanted your four copper coins? Huh? You'd take the mortar. What if I wanted one silver? Eh? You take the mortar, a chicken, and two mushrooms. How about just the mortar and two mushrooms? 
Okay. And then what if I did this and threw in... No, never mind. I don't have anything else for you. Yeah. Hmm. Let me just... What if I just asked for this? Uh, Too much? What if I did one and one ooh, Almost. Ew. Final offer. I'll take it. I think that's probably a fair deal. And ooh. I don't think you're interested in anything else. So what do you have for me? Wheat stocks. See, I think buying from her, the best things are going to be her finished products. So, like, if I wanted all of that from you, what would you... Oh. Uh, what would you give... What would you eh. want? I, nothing to offer. Let me get rid of the cobra. Eh? Two silver. What if I gave you a silver th two? No. Three. Ooh. Final Ew. offer. Good deal. Okay, cool. Cool. And now if I want the rest of your Coburns, an iron tankard, feta cheese, and I don't have enough room for that. And a medium basket. Yeah, now I got enough room. Small silver pot. Well, ask for Ooh. price. You have no offer for me. Let me get rid of the cheesecake. Hey. I feel like those are all very heavy. Uh, size 50. That'd be size 20 and a few of these. What if I said this? Hmm. What if I did this five? Ooh. Nearly willing. What would you say if I said four? Ah, Too no. much? Okay. Let me do this. Ooh. Final Ew. offer. Good deal. Okay. I've still made out pretty well. What's a, ch what's a chocolate cake worth Ugh. for you? You're not sure? How about two? Hmm? A piece of feta for a chocolate cake. Interesting. Interesting. So if I went for two feta for three cakes. Deal. That seemed too easy. I guess I got fleeced on that one. That's okay. One chocolate huh. cake, two copper. Hmm, no. I think that's it for us there. What about this copper bowl? Eh? Two silver seven? You're out of your mind. No. Goodbye. Out of your damn mind, girl. All right, we're making some good money here. So let's begin Thursday real fast. I'm going to start buying some other items that I need personally. So. Hello. Oh, a new merchant. Who are you? Sam, traveling merchant. What do you need? Silver coin. So he likes silver specifically. So I'll get more from him with a silver than I would a copper. Uh, Never buy coin from a merchant. Nobles and soldiers are much looser with their coin. Good to know. Hmm. What do you need? So what would you give me for a silver? Uh, He'd give me six herring and ten wheat. I don't know what a wheat is worth, though. What if I wanted, like, ten? I'm oversized. I need more size. So actually, you buying anything? Not sure. What are you selling? A table? Selling? Cloud card or mist cards? Okay, what do you want for... Oh, these are heavy. What would you want for that? A silver, huh? What if I asked you for... What if I asked you for this? Are you going to call it the same? Okay, come on. A silver. What if I wanted one of each and I offered you a silver? Who would make that deal? What if I offered you a silver too? No. Three. No. Four. No. Five. Mm. All right. What if I offered you two silver for this? No. And then three. No. I said three. No. Final Goodbye. offer. Didn't like it. That's okay. No. Uh, buying yeah. anything? She. Ooh, she wants my chocolate cake. What's your mm -hmm. offer for that? Four? You're out of your mind. What would you? What, what about for one huh? piece? Wow. Uh, did I get? I got fleeced on my chocolate cake. I think. What else mm -hmm. are you buying? A pie? Huh? For one? She's out of her mind. What if I wanted all of your huh? money? What is really expensive in there? What's the pie worth? Huh? Oh wait, we just did that. So two for that. She wanted all my ciabatta. <laughs> Not gifting you that. You're out of your damn mind. Muffins? What about the buns? Huh? Interesting. Muffins? Huh? Eight. Okay. So if I want all this, <laughs> minus a silver, <laughs> minus another silver, <laughs> minus two more silvers. <laughs> okay. She would take everything I own, basically, for that. Interesting. Um... Can you give me a little more? No. Deal. Nice. I feel like I just made a sick deal out of that. All right. And she doesn't really have anything else for me, but she does have some myth cards. So I do want to get into myth. 
So what if I got all of these? A madness demands moon. What is this worth? You have no offer. How about a copper? And I'll throw in, just in case I'm about to get ripped off here, another morning glory. Okay. I'll get rid of the morning glory. How about three? Four? Five? Suppose that's enough? All right. Well, I think I could have got away with four, it seems. That's all right. We'll say goodbye here because we've got nothing else for me. Hello. The next customer is the blacksmith. Um, what, what is this Sorry. worth to you? Ten copper in the sack? How about eight copper in the sack? No. Nine copper. No. no. Deal. Okay, cool. That's a good deal. Size is up. Weight is up. We are ready for like real merchanteering here now, I'd say. What are you selling? Okay. He'll sell me these at probably a decent discount. How much? Uh, You're not even sure. About uh, two. So one is worth about 10. So if I took all of those from him and gave him, say, like 42. Mm -hmm. No deal. 44. Um, Nearly willing. Final yeah. offer. Cool. So we got a bunch of swords. I, I probably didn't need all those swords from him, but have a little fishing pole. Fishing pole, diffusers, and etched helm. I still can't see his concealed goods, so maybe we're not friends yet. What else are you selling? Okay. I don't think I can afford that. Uh. T -t -t don't offer it huh? to me, you dick. Huh? You'd get six coins for a standing wings helm. How about for four? Uh, no. Goodbye. See you later. Hello. Ooh, the soldier's here. What are you uh. buying? He wants a sword. Okay. He'd give me six plus some shields. What if I threw in another shield? No. Final Damn. offer. Okay, cool. So I got three shields. I don't know what those are worth. Four shields. However, I think that's fine. <laughs> you want another sword? What do you uh, want to give me? He'd give me four silver for one? Hold on. I paid like less than 10 copper for five, right? No, I paid about 10 copper each. What if I did like a, a silver three? Uh, I'll do two and then Deal. final offer him. Okay, so. Uh -huh. Two. Deal. Final offer. Uh -huh. Two. Uh -huh. Final Deal. offer. It looks like the final offer is a hard a hard hit, huh? Okay. Three, six. So to him, six copper is worth about a silver. Two. Uh -huh. Deal. Final offer. Cool. So I got four silver two for all those swords. That was a fucking sick deal. Yeah. I feel like I just made gains there. Holy crap. Uh, what are you selling? A noble woman blouse? No. You can't think of an offer? Like, how about a copper? Goodbye. No deal. <laughs> all right. We'll pack up for the night. All right, brothers and sisters. I think what we'll do here is we'll hit, we'll hit Boone. And we're going to probably find some local commodities to bring with us to the next area. So instead of hitting next customer, I want to look at the local merchants here. Like, this Hello. is a merchant. Who are you? Um, Yoshimasha, the merchant, traveling merchant. What do you need? Looking for some well-priced gems. So gems are not going to be what I can get out of him. We'll say play. goodbye to you. And then the other guys are blacksmith. And then Hello. that's the regular merchant. Mm -hmm. So he likes coins. So if I said, like, what if I was going to give you, like, all of this? Hi. That's what you'll give me. That's a good amount of stuff. Doesn't mean anything to me. So we're just gonna hit never mind. Uh, and I wanna see I wanna I wanna travel light. So what about this necklace? Uh, I cannot afford that. What about this one? Uh, I also he well he has no offer for me. No, no, no. Please? Well, look at this carriage. That's new. A fancy horse carriage? Uh, I can't afford that. Okay. Well, that's rude. Solid iron door. Huge. 724 interesting i want to find things that are light i think to take with me to the next town so what if i got okay what about the silver one hey. and the diamond ring and the silver rings Whoa. i am not able let me get rid of that hey. i couldn't afford that let me get rid of that yeah. okay i can't afford a diamond ring what about these silver rings uh. what about one of them uh. All right. He drives a hard bargain. How about... Okay, I do want these myth cards. What if I got these books? Die. 
Not interested. And I threw in a mushroom. What? He, he would do 20. He'd do all that for 24 in my ox. What if I just said 24? Yeah. In a, in a silver. Oh. Five. Yo. Two more. Bah. Three more. Bah. No. 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 Oh, okay. I don't remember what the ox was worth, honestly. Let me work out a deal heal. All right, this is where I'm gonna leave off with here. I used a bunch of my money. I The most expensive item was the uncommon red silk. I got that for about like 12 silver and like another nine copper, I believe. The lentils were about five copper. I think I paid like a copper for nine butter, give or take maybe two. Same with the skinny mushrooms were worth about one. These are worth a couple. That's worth about a silver. And then this was worth like a few copper as well. Same with these uncommon, that's worth a few silver. And then this was like maybe three copper, if I recall. Uh, so he's uh, not, oh. he's interested in my crate, which I'm obviously not interested uh, in giving him, but. So we're gonna say good goodbye boy. to you. I'm gonna pack up for the day and we're gonna hit the road to Warg Bay, I think. Yeah, it'll t cost me two silver to travel here. We're going to head to Warg Bay. This is where Myth is, and I want to get this quest done in our ne next episode here. Care for a game of Myth? Let's play. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a deck. Mm -hmm. No thanks. I'm just going to say goodbye to him for now so we can start our next adventure here. Next time, I'll show you how to play Myth if you didn't see my first video where we kind of briefly went over it. But otherwise, it's a really good game, honestly, which surprised me a lot. But all right, brothers and sisters, we're going to wrap this merchanteering adventure up here. If you're loving this, make sure you hit that like button. Leave me comments. Let me know what you're thinking about the bartering system and how we're doing. And as usual, double check to make sure you're subscribed. So you can be back here for that sweet, shabby content. But all right, brothers and sisters, as usual, this has been your merchant shabby do. And I'll the rest of your day is filled with gold.